2-22. Two Cares for the Community Day, and our team worked very hard to show that we care from morning till night with hands-on projects to help others. Our community projects began at gaining ground literacy in North Tulsa, where our volunteers worked in the warehouse sorting books for area kids. New books, all donated, that will end up in the hands of a child in need. Morning anchor Corey Duke learned Tulsa is a book desert. And so we have over 75% of families report that they have less than 100 books in the home. And so uh, the latest research shows that the determiner of Academic success is no longer parental income or education. It is now the number of books in the home. Gaining ground gives the books to children and offers after school programs and summer literacy camps. The Coffee Bunker for Veterans was our next stop, where the two news volunteers put up a fresh coat of paint. Our small group made a big effort to get the work done. Anchor Naomi Kitt talked with Donna Rogers, who focuses on veterans' education, about their mission. We can do career guidance, help them apply for their benefits find a school and then uh, apply for financial aid. But we also have food, our food pantry, we help with employment and various services. Rogers says the coffee bunker's goal is to do everything possible to help Oklahoma veterans. Our final stop, the Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma, where we spent several hours packing up, counting cans and taping up boxes of food for area seniors. At 32 pounds apiece, the pallets piled up. We sorted 6,464 pounds of food, enough for 5,386 meals. The hunger has a way of hiding, so keep an eye out, and if you see a neighbor or a friend or a coworker struggling, let them know that there's help out there. They can go to our website, click on Get Help, and find a pantry that's closest to them. Today, we feel we made a difference, and we encourage you to reach out and help your neighbors, too. Now, each agency that we served on Two Cares for the Community Day needs volunteers and donations. So if you'd like to help, find out more on our website, kjrh.com.